All right. You have these variables working in the previous lesson, and we had that show message box. First thing I want to do is just wipe those show message boxes out of there. We had one in the wall when the arrow hits it. Let's just take that out. We had one in the player when they hit a coin. Take it out. We had one in the P key. That was a cheat message to give them points. And we had one when the ghost got hit by an arrow. Now remember, we're not taking out all the code. We're just taking out the show messages. Okay. I think that's it. If that's not it, one's going to pop up and we'll we'll figure out which one it is. All right. What we want to do here is we don't want those boxes popping up. We know most programs will just draw the variables to the screen so you can see them. One little part, the room. When we do go to draw, notice that the room, as you move the cursor around, I've left a bit of space up here, shows you the X and the Y position. So it gives us a little hint where we can draw because we're going to need to know this. So for now, notice the Y height. You know, Y height of 20 is sort of good, 16, 32. Notice the X, 50, 200, 400. So that's the ballpark where we're going to be drawing stuff today. Okay, to get started on drawing, drawing can actually be a bit of a big topic on its own, but I want to give you just enough so you can actually see your variables working rather than them being a mystery behind the scenes. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a new type of object responsible for drawing. So let's create the object. We're going to call it object draw. No sprite needed. Okay, it's going to be invisible. And we're going to add one event. The only event we're going to add to this is going to be the draw event. The draw event is the only event where you're allowed to use draw commands. Now, the draw event is called 30 times a second right now. It's called every single time that the screen redraws itself. So as this game is redrawing, redrawing, redraw, redraw, redraw every time, you know, the game progresses, it calls the draw method and is going to redraw our variables out. So you got to be careful what code you put here. Just put some simple draw code for now. And here's our code. The code is easy enough. It uh, looks a little like the show message command. And the command is draw text. Now the text I want to draw, I'm going to take an X of 50. I think I had a Y height. I'll use 50 as well. And it says, what do I want to draw? Let's start with the player's points. So I'll, I'm going to write the word points plus string points. Notice that looks very similar to show message, except this time I actually get to say where I want it drawn, right? With an X and a Y coordinate. Now, one note here. For those of you that were keen enough to go, but wait, there is a but wait. Take a second here. Do you know what the but wait is before I try to run this? If you said, but the points variable belongs to the player, how can object draw draw it? That's exactly the but wait here. The draw object does not own a points variable. So one way to do this, and it's the way that I'll let you guys do it for the first couple lessons, is you do need to use a with player here. When you do the with player here, draw points, this runs inside the player's draw event instead. And so player does have points, the points will draw out. Another way that you might see in some tutorials online, 
I'll just copy and paste, and it's a way you shouldn't do, is they might use this command. They won't use the width. But what they'll do here is they'll do something like this. Object, player, go grab your points. This actually will work, but it's considered not stable on all platforms, like if you're going to send it to Android or iPhone or Windows or Linux later on. So this is the good way. This way here, it'll work, but you won't see me do it in this course. Now, will it work? It's going to work as long as you do the number one thing that beginners forget to do is go to the room and actually take the object and put that draw object in the room. So many people code it and they go, it's not drawing. And they forget that you got to put it in the room or it's not part of the program. Okay, so very common. Don't forget to put it in the room. You'll see it's a question mark here. No sprite. There's another one here, the music object I had made. No sprite. You won't see those when the program runs. Now let's see. If everything goes well, we should have our points working and showing up. Oh, no. I can see my error. This is a good lesson here. Reading the errors. The draw event for object draw has an error. It's trying to get a variable for player with player. And then I say to myself, that's right. The object's not called player. The object is called object player. And of course, it turns red and all is good. Give it a go now. These little layers that take place, they're exactly the errors you're going to do as well. It's nice to see them happening. Before you get frustrated, always check spelling, always check names, always check the codes in the right place, right? There's a few simple things that usually cause trouble. So you can see there, nice. Points are drawing up. May not look very uh, appealing, you know, but obviously we'll learn a way to change the way it looks later on. That's good. Okay, points going up and down. Way better, right, than that show message box. All right, that's the draw lesson. And uh, this will make using your variables a lot more fun, much more visual, so you can follow along what they're doing. Now, you may say that was good. That drawed, or drew, the points object. How do you get more stuff drawing? Well, the player also owns the money. So, literally, it's a copy-paste at this point. Money. And the name of the variable is money. Now, don't draw it 50-50 or you're going to be drawing right on top of each other. So what I'll do is I'll slide this one over to maybe 200. So when you want to draw more variables out for learning purposes, it doesn't really matter where you draw them as long as you see them on the screen and everything's working. And you give that a go. You got your money there. And everything's working nicely. Now, for your next challenge, uh, there's going to be a lot of little challenges to do in this program just to get you working with the variables and to get you drawing out some of the new variables you create. And even going back to your two-player game and adding some variables drawing out in there. So go back to that one and build that one up. Okay, do the challenges. Don't just skim over them. Practice. Make sure this is all solid. You do tons of it programming, especially game programming. Thanks for watching.